Hello everyone. Namaste. We are in class 4. We have learnt the basics of fractions in class 3. We will understand more about it today. Let's solve some sums related to it. If half of a number is 15, what is the number? When we say half, it means something is equally divided into two parts and we are talking about one part out of it. Let us understand with this picture. Here, one whole is divided into two halves. So, if one part is 15, the other part is also 15. So, total 15 plus 15 equal to 30. Therefore, the number is 30. Here, instead of adding 15 two times, we can also say that 2 times 15, that means 2 into 15 equal to 30 because we know the repeated addition is called multiplication. Let us practice one more sum. If one fifth of a number is 30, what is the number? Here also one whole is divided into 5 equal parts and each part is 30. So, if this is 30, this is also 30, 30, 30 and 30. So, here to find out the answer, we have to add 30 5 times. So, 5 times 30 is equal to 5 into 30 equal to 150. How many 1 fourth makes 1 whole? When we are saying 1 fourth, it means that we have divided the whole into four equal parts and each part is considered as one fourth. That means here one part, two part, three part and four part. So four parts together will make one whole. That means how many one fourth will make one whole? Answer is four. Ronit had 30 chocolates. He ate one third of it and shared the remaining chocolates equally between his two friends. How many chocolates each of his two friends got? Let us find out how many chocolates did Ronit eat. Number of chocolates Ronit had is 30 and the number of chocolates he ate is one third of 30. Now, how will we find out one third of 30? We will first divide the whole number by the denominator. So, if we divide 30 by 3, we will get 10 as quotient. And the next step is, we will multiply the quotient with the numerator. So, 10 into 1 equal to 10. So, number of chocolates Ronit eight equal to 10. Now the remaining chocolates are equally shared between his two friends. So the number of remaining chocolates equal to 30 minus 10 equal to 20. This 20 chocolates are shared equally between his two friends. We know that equal distribution of a number is called division. So each of his friend got 20 divided by 2 equal to 10 chocolates. Uja has 15 roses. 3 of them are red, 5 of them are yellow and rest are white. What fraction of roses are white? Total number of roses 15, number of red roses 3, number of yellow roses 5 and there are some white roses. So, if we add yellow roses with the red roses and then subtract it from the total number of roses, then we can find number of white roses. Now, let us do the sum. Total number of roses 15, number of red roses plus number of yellow roses equal to 5 plus 3 is equal to 
8. Therefore, white roses equal to 15 minus 8 equal to 7. Now, what fraction of roses are white? The required fraction is number of white roses divided by total number of roses equal to 7 by 15.